Bats. Bats. I mean, sure, try beams. I'll keep them. Play two scores. I've been playing with like a lot of tech cards against like landmarks for the past few days, and honestly, they haven't really felt that good. I think aftershock is nice because it's more flexible than just like basically kill a landmark or kill a damage unit, which really isn't that flexible. Because you have it for reach too. But it just feels like the cards are kind of low EV, unless I'm literally just queuing into this all day long. In which case, I mean, please give me a fucking torture if like I'm gonna lose the game if I don't get it, but you know, that's kind of just how it goes, I think. Is Lux good in anything? Yes. Okay. That's a play. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Oh man, oh man, oh man. My gun does the talking. Goodbye, Cena. Fight they grow up so fast. Run away, bike! Bang bang. The absolute craziest open attack ever, I think. Right now, live on stream. It happened. Goodbye. This might be kind of like a waste, but I still have the thermo, right? Um, tri beams are big enough to kill stuff now too, so I kind of just like juicing them up. Oh, my friend. Okay. Okay, I respect it. I play the sentry and the strike, and then magically these deal six damage. At five, they already kill Hecarim, so you know I'm kind of happy. The tri beams are kind of just large at this point in the game. No real complaints. Oh my god, this guy's insane. Uh, I don't think that's a good enough stun target. I think I just like go for the calling here. It's fine. If you knew you were Kalmissima, I got the attacks, then they just throw another target that comes out afterwards. Oh no, I forgot about the Sharky boy. Um, so this may be worth that in that case. Kind of debatable still, though. Also a fan of this because it beats him into thinking I don't have removal for the hack room. So we just like slam it this round. And then he slams it, I go Lamoud, tri beam for six. Give myself a six cost follower. Kinda happy about that, I think. Not quite what we're looking at, but you know. Little guy is still something. Starting 2021 with a banger control stream. That's how you're supposed to start it. Oh. Well, that's not ideal. It's a little bit late, though. Like, it's kind of more manageable now than it was earlier. There you are. Okay, well. That is, in fact, a thing. I will do that to minimize some damage that we take here. Oh. That is actually kind of a high roll here. So fast. He doesn't really want to damage her because she kind of gets bigger when she kind of does because otherwise he kills big card. We'll take those. We certainly do. Okay, let me just bop him again for fun. So, you know, like, hey, what's up, dude? How you doing? I could also flock plus... No, no, actually, that wouldn't be right. Um, I was going to say sentry plus flock, but that's not actually going to aid. It would have to be sentry plus thermo. My okay, not as bad. Or not as good, sorry. Definitely a little bit worse, but this should be lethal, I think. You just open attack and then... Leviathan, so it's not great, but still good enough for a dub, I think. Easy win. Nice landmark. L-M-A-O. Battleship comes in clutch, boys. Let's go. Turns out when you play a deck that runs a bunch of three cost cards and you have the two tri beams in hand, you just win the game. Pretty easy. Draven Zoe. Okay. Uh, I can keep one mana thermo maybe. Calling is a lot less worse, or a lot less good. Sorry against Draven, because they just like play an axe and then it's useless. So it's a little bit of a weird one, like whether I would want to like just thermo the Zoe on one. Or just leave it. To like thermo the Draven potentially. 
I feel like I just leave it. It seems stupid though. I don't like the, the whole, I don't know, the whole Slosh Shell stuff's kind of dumb. I don't think I want to deal with it. Just wait. If I didn't get the second one, I probably would have left it, but with two, I think it's fine. The only issue for us now is that like our mana account is kind of off for the Thermo. So we have to work around that a little bit. It's fine. It's not a real problem. But is the real problem is the Tyler one here. It doesn't happen, so we're chilling. There was a little fella asking for me. The party has oh, that's the Tyler arrived. one. Okay. Do that, then thermo the Draven. I've always been a fun guy. Can like cascade or something to heal it? Who's ready to Battle caster is kind of weird. Yeah, agreed. I'm glad she sees a lot more play than I think um, people initially thought she would. I feel like the kind of original opinion on her was that she was going to be really shit and bad. And I'm personally happy she's not. Okay, almost is like a calling here over anything. It's not really that good though. Let's make it like Swain plus flip next rounds. Do I have enough for that? No, I'm one off. Okay, I can't Swain plus flip if I do the calling. It's fine though, I think it's all this. He only has one axe, so let's reduce damage by a little bit. Put some shrooms in the deck. Mm, it says three on it. Have a mushroom. Have three. I think I'm just killing this. Oh. Well, I mean... That's less than ideal, I would say. That should be fine. I don't think the attack's gonna be that much better for him. Okay, never mind. The attack's gonna be that much better for him. Unlucky. But, uh, we should be online, so I think we're fine. Just drop top of Swain. The rest of the cards don't matter, right? It's just this and then the Leviathan. And obviously, I mean, Hush is a thing, so... You know, it was cool talking to you guys and mentioning how cool Leviathan is. Um, so now it's this round. Or, oh, the camp block thing's actually kind of a big deal. That sort of does matter quite a bit, actually. I dig the deck, honestly. Cool spin on an aggro list. And now, holy fuck, that's a lot of damage. Uh, he never rips the decimate off the top, right? It's not that type of deck. It's never that type of deck. Um, I attack for 8, he goes to 9. Position! Watch Wayne. Interesting. Someone get him up. That's good as shrooms. It's kind of weird. Fire. This can only deal damage to an enemy. And it's only one to the Nexus, so. Decimate here or it's GG. I'm feeling the GG. Turn 10, though. Leviathan kind of better than the little scamp guy on 10. GG's. Man, this player's servers are so noob. 
Yeah, NA players are always bad. You're right. <coughs> European players are strictly better at everything. It's so funny because I was just thinking about that myself. I was like, man, NA players are just so trash at everything. Should really find new hobbies, right? I'm the only person Eminem is afraid of having a rap battle against. I think you're right. I right, thank you, Twitch Zero Loves. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Mm, okay, I mean, that's pretty fast. I don't think these two are really the best in the entire world. That's fine. Hate to do it to the little guy there, but you know, turn one thermo is going to have to be what it is against Teemo. Goodbye. Man, I kind of feel like a piece of shit every time I do that, because I know when it happens to me, I'm just like, fuck, man. I don't want to say it ruins my day, but, you know, the game that I'm playing gets a little bit less fun every single time a Teemo dies. On my side of the board, at least. When it's on my opponent's side, it's kind of whatever. Drop top a 2-2 that gives me a puff cap thing. Uh, according to the announcement, he passed away a long time ago, yeah. I mean, not a, like, Tugby's not like a long time ago, but a while ago. They're just taking time to process everything before they announce it. Humanity is obsolete. True. That's facts. Why be a part of humanity when you can be a part of the Ballistic Bot Gang? You guys feel me? FRFR? What a play. So, um, you know. It's a classic opponent's AFK type of game, I think. Nope. Back from the bathroom, let's go. Love to see that. Piss breaks over, instantly hops back in the game. No fucking around right now. Witness perfection, meat bags. It's a calling strike. I am the LOR streamer with the most viewers, and now I am famous. Wow, no way. That's insane. Damn. Top of the fucking category, boys. Look at that. Absolutely crazy. BBG goes offline. Now we reign supreme, boys. Let's go. Okay. Hey, we're 100 viewer Andes now. That's insane. Look at that. Mom, get the camera. I'm at the top of the category. Let's fucking go. Why do I feel like if I play this, it's never going to work anyways? Probably because it's never going to work anyways. That's like a, a good point. I will hold the team over later. It will be a strategic play that we will come in hot with in a moment. Keep up, keep up. Like I said, it never works anyways, right? Man, I just, I'm just such a genius, dude. Holy fuck, it's actually insane. I don't know how I can so know so much. Just predict the absolute future, but it just happens. Fucking certainty. It's on you right now. You are here for me. No way. You're here for me? Thank you so much. Wow. That is one of the kindest things anybody's ever said to me. Somebody here for me. Actually kind of insane. Can make the fun play? Could also do a good play. Kind of leaning towards a fun play, though. Just like this, plus the fuck ton of shrooms. Next round, hit the hand here and then, like, try to play the Teemo, see if it'll work. Even though he probably won't. Could be the move. Confused on how this game is unpopular on Twitch compared to Hearthstone. Hearthstone has Battlegrounds to prop it up. Uh, if it was just a card game, the numbers would be relatively similar. And in Hearthstone, people watch the game because they can't afford the cards. It's one of the big reasons why people watch Hearthstone, I think, um, a lot of time. Simply because we're too broke to be able to do it otherwise. Whereas in Runeterra, turns out you can just kind of play with the cards already, so it's a little bit easier and more accessible. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. You'll sometimes have it when there's like a brand new player who's like, oh dude, I don't have um, you know the cards to play this deck is it cool, but that's not really a question from um from viewers of this game, just because everything's so accessible and easy to kind of um, you know get a hold of. Mushroom help. Hi, happy new year too. They grow up so fast. Can I go for some bonuses? Get the flipperuski going on. Kind of digging it. Boom. 
him. Wait a bitch. Lay the bitch. Oh, he plays another one. That's buffed. Okay. Well, my Teemo's not going to work this round then. Unfortunate. Or she maybe? Sharon? She maybe? I'm not sure. But this card's doing fuck all here, I think. Uh, unless... Potentially he's going to be baited into playing something different. Like nope, unlucky. <laughs> Um, so I'm really like, I, I don't know, like this just really isn't the look I guess then. Um, I want to play this into like the Leviathan though, we know for sure, so I'd probably just play a Clump again. And like the Cloud. I, uh, I mean you could even argue that like playing this guy just for blocking is honestly worth it. it just cause like, I'm gonna win unless they just die, right? In this case most of the time I think. If we don't get burned out or something, we just sort of got there because these two cards together are just so strong. So I might even just want to play this. Uh, if my opponents actually stream, don't link through stream, please. While I'm playing. Why are you here? It's just sleeping, right? My opponent is playing with his girlfriend. Let him win. You guys think I should grief? I mean, if they're actually dating, then I don't have to do anything, right? It's not like they, you know, if he wins the game, he's gonna it's gonna seem like he's cool or something. She's gonna like him. Like just just surrendering doesn't matter. Oro cannon, oh no. I mean I'm pretty committed to this line still, so. Okay, so this it. I became a soldier. It's unfortunately just like so telegraphed it's kinda bad, but it's fine. That's like kinda one of the things about this that actually doesn't matter that much, to be honest, is like if you just have swing Leviathan and your opponent knows it, they kinda just have to fucking deal with it. It's really not an issue that you have it, it's just something that they're gonna have to just face. Okay, relax. Submit 10. Okay. Please. Five head. Okay, I'm in seven. So the only problem is this guy needs to flip so I get the stuns and I don't think he's gonna flip so we might just be in a tough spot. I have to high roll three streams which like never happens here really. So I would play that. Flock is fine but I can't cast it now so we're still kind of bones. Um, I maybe should have actually, if I was thinking, not played the second stream because I would have got this no matter what, right? As long as my swing was up. And then if I left this damaged, I could have just like flocked it this round. And then I would have got at least one stun with flip swing next round. Just stun that, and then this would be dead. Because right now I'm kind of at two health, and there's not too much I can do about that. Which is kind of bad. So I'm gonna die to burn next round. That heals, I think. I mean, I I agree. If you're gonna put shitty passes in, I mean, you should probably get banned in a bigger stream. I'll give you like a, a lesson though. If you're gonna like put something like this in a chat, make sure it's like at least kind of funny, right? Like, I I don't know. The whole like copy piece to Reno Macarino, sorry, bad Englando is like. Okay, dude, you watched Crip like five years ago, man. Stop holding on to the same fucking jokes. Come up with something new, you know? Like, that's basically it. If you have like shit posts or like passes that are funny, that's fine, but that's kind of cringe. Not gonna lie. Can you not get music on Twitch? No, I don't want to be DMC again. It's way too ambiguous. I don't want to fucking lose partnership over stuff like that. Also, I'm just guaranteed dead here, by the way. Actually, I'm not if I do. Oh, unless. Did I get a flip? Did I get any damage post flip? I did. Oh my god, I'm actually insane. I may have high rolled. A little bit. And it still probably doesn't lead to me winning here either. Because any other elusive card just wins the game. So, should be GG.
But um, yeah, DMCA stuff's really real and I don't really want to lose partnership or anything or get banned because shit's kind of whack. Um, GG. I'm us. Oh. <laughs> oh, easiest game of my fucking life. Let's go, man. Timo is the absolute best, boys. 100% win rate. Never lost with the deck. Can't be beat.